Hey there ladies, this is part three to my crochet top series. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please let me know. I would love to just see your guys' recreations and don't forget to share these with your friends because summer is coming up and you guys can take some cute uh, beach photos or just, you know, group photos would be so fun also. So um, all you're going to need is yarn of your choice, a hook, a darning needle, and I wouldn't say this is a beginner tutorial, but maybe an advanced beginner. It's not too complicated, but anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, so to begin this project, we are going to be starting with the cups. So start with a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we are going to flip the chain over and work in the back loops from the hook and the third loop create a double crochet. The chain 2 counts as a stitch, so this is going to be our third, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochet. And in the last chain, we are going to be placing seven double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then on each loop of the other side, we are going to be creating another eight double crochet while weaving in the yarn. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you should have eight double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a cluster of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then another eight double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain two and turn. Then start placing double crochet in each double crochet across. That's number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in the center, three stitches of the seven double crochet. In the first one, we will be placing two double crochet. And the second one, we will be placing three double crochet and in the third one we will be placing another two double crochet. You should have two double crochet, three double crochet, and another two double crochet. Then continue placing one double crochet in each stitch across. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain two and turn. For round three, we are going to be putting one double crochet in each double crochet across with the chain two counting as a chain space. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. Then with the cluster of three in the first one, we are going to be putting two double crochet. In the second one, we are going to be putting three double crochet. And in the third one, we are going to be putting another two double crochet. So we have two, three, and two. Then you continue along the side with another 12 double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Chain two and turn. Now we are going to be repeating the same thing as round three, but just with an increase of two on each side. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and in the cluster of three, in the first stitch we do two. The second stitch we do three, and in the third stitch we do two. Two, three, and two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14. Chain two and turn. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 16. Then in the cluster of three, you're going to do two in the first one, three in the second one, one, two, three, and two in the last one. So that's two, three, and two. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. For the final round, you're going to chain two, turn, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Then in the cluster of three, you're going to do two in the first one, three in the second one, And two in the last one. So there's two, three, and two. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. Since this is the last round, you want to count your stitches and make sure you have the correct stitch count. You're going to have 18 on the side, 2, 3, and then 2, and then you're going to have another 18 on the side. Now you can cut your yarn and fasten off, making sure that you leave a long enough tail so you can tie the cups together. Okay, so this is what the cup should look like. You want to create a second one exactly like it. So pause the video here, and whenever you're finished with the second cup, come right back and play it. Okay, and once you have both of the cups made, you're just going to fasten them both together just like this. Okay, so now we have gotten to the point where we are going to be working on the base or the bottom of the top. So we're going to attach our yarn. Okay, now that it's attached, we are going to do a chain of two. And 
and then do double crochets all along the bottom of the top. I'm so sorry I'm out of frame right here. I'm the worst. Still learning. And in each double crochet from the cups, I'm going to be placing two in each one while weaving in the yarns from the cups. I know there's a lot going on here, but it's really simple. Just continue that all the way across and I will meet you at the other end. Okay, so now I am finally getting to the end. I am just putting in my last two double crochet. You should have a total of 49 double crochet. Um, two on each double crochet and then one right between the cups. So your project should look something like this. And then all you're going to do is just chain one and turn your work. So now we are going to do a slip stitch in the first five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Do a chain of three and slip stitch into the same stitch. Now we are going to do a slip stitch into the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do a chain of three, slip stitch into the same stitch, and do another eight slip stitch into the following stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do a chain of three and slip stitch into the same stitch. You're just going to repeat this pattern all the way across. I will meet you at the end. Okay, now we are at the end of the project. This is what it should be looking like so far. As you can see, on both ends, we only have five slip stitch. There is not eight in between on the ends. Um, and you should only have six picos if you did the same stitch count and your cup size was the same as mine. Okay, so now we are going to be doing a chain of two plus seven, so a total of nine chains. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Turn your work. Now we are going to be doing a double crochet in the fourth stitch after the pico. If you have trouble finding, you can count from the middle of both picos. That makes it a lot easier. Then we are going to do a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, a double crochet in the middle of both picots or the fourth stitch after the pico. chain of seven, four, five, six, seven, a double crochet in between both picots or the fourth stitch after the pico. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then another double crochet in between both picots or in the fourth stitch after the pico. And chain seven, four. Five, six, seven. Again, a double crochet in the fourth stitch after the pico. and a chain of seven. Then we will be placing a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. All 
All right, this is what your project should be looking like so far. If it's not, well, I'm sorry this video failed you. Okay guys, so I was out of frame for basically this entire next section, but it's simple directions. All you're gonna do is put one single crochet in the top of the double crochet, and then seven single crochet in the chain space. So this is the top of the double crochet, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you go straight into the next double crochet. Just repeat this all the way across. Okay, now we are on the last section, so we're gonna be putting the single crochet again in the top of the double crochet. One single crochet in the chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we are going to be placing a single crochet in the second chain, in the back loop of the second chain. Okay, so for rows five and six, I completely did not get footage of, but all I did was put a single crochet in each single crochet across, then chained one and turned. And this is what your project should be looking like after you have completely finished row six. For round seven, you're just going to chain three, turn your work, peek go, slip stitch into the next four stitches, two, three, four, and then again peek go, which is a chain three, and slip stitching into the same space. Slip stitch into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Chain three. Slip stitch into the same space, which is called a pico. Slip stitch into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four and then pico. Now you are going to continue this pattern all the way around the top, including the sides, the cups, the bottom, everything. All right, this is what your project should be looking like. Now to get on with the straps. All right, so to begin the strap, you're gonna wanna go in the center stitch of the three clusters and Fasten on your yarn and then begin making a chain of however long you need to wrap around your body. I made about 175 to 200. If you're smaller, you might need only 150. If you're bigger, maybe you need like 300. Um, it's just, it, it all depends on your body type. If you're taller, you're going to need more because your torso is longer. It just depends how much you need. So keep uh, making the strap until it fits around. And congratulations, you finished the top. All you have to do is weave in the straps and tie it in a bow and weave in the ends of your yarns and you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, if you would like some more free patterns, please subscribe and I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless, bye.